everyone. So today was a very special day in class fashion law at Sacramento State University. It was our first guest speaker for the semester and I had Rudy Myers show up and I'm so thankful to him for his time. Um, he's a top photographer, shooting all kinds of commercial shots, modeling, the whole nine yards. I've worked with him. Uh, he shot some of my model shots, some of my uh, law firm photography headshots, and the list goes on. Super, super grateful, Rudy, that he took time out to be with us. And specific to what we've been studying in our course, particularly the fashion and intellectual property chapter, it's important for me to bring a guest speaker to come solidify and cement it, a practical industry a professional who is experienced in this so students can really know what it means. Of course, I'm sharing my own industry experience as well, but it was really good to have Rudy come in and share his experiences and talk about you know, copyright registration issues, from the practical aspect based on the theory we've talked about and of course talk about um, work for hire and how you deal with employees who create intellectual property on your behalf as a business owner, um, talk about or oh, fashion business owner, business owner in general, uh, talk about uh, copyright infringement, how to deal with that, your cease and desist letter and all the aspects that go into that and talk about the intersection of fashion, copyright, and social media, and how all of that is in a plane, especially for photographers, among the many topics, and it took it a step further, obviously, with laying the foundation of what it means to be a photographer, how you break into the industry, how you shoot all those great models, how you shoot all those great companies and commercial shots and all that. or shoot with a 35 millimeter or an 8x10 doesn't matter to me you know it's really about can you visualize pre-visualize an image can you see something that other people don't see and can you will your vision bring them to that image we do that all the time I walk into places all the time and I change I can so dramatically change lighting in a room like this won't even look like a room like this and that's because you have the power of pre-visualization you know what you can do with lighting, etc., the camera is less important. I'm not saying it's not completely unimportant. I, I, I buy top of the line gear, I like it. But if we had to trade gear and you had some crummy gear and it was 20 years old and I had to shoot film again and you had my nice camera, I still should get a better photo given because I know how to work it. I've been doing it long enough. It's less about the camera, but it's nice to have nice gear. I'll be the first to admit that. And we have gear that looks really pretty. We roll up on set, it looks chrome and everything looks, and what looks more. So, uh, Rudy, what have you enjoyed about being in our class, a fashion law class today? Well, I enjoy most about this kind of stuff is in part with little information I have that I think hopefully will be helpful to people at some point in time, you know, and let them know that what they want to do is possible if they really want to do it, because I did it. I think if nothing else, they can look at me and go like, oh, he didn't go to Brooks and work with Andy Leibowitz and all of a sudden, no, he just did this on his own. And if I can do that, you know, pursue your dreams and become successful, you can too. So I do like talking to people and letting them know like it's, it's all possible. I know because I did it. So. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. Appreciate you. Okay, folks, it's a wrap. That's it from me to you. Follow me on my social media platforms. My uh, handle is at Miss Udwak, the at symbol M-S-U-D-U-A-K. And in addition, my music business and law folks, if you want to hear me uh, speak on my podcast or uh, just read some of my articles covering the music business and law um, focus, which is part of my practice as an entertainment lawyer, please visit africamusiclaw.com. For fashion law folks, uh, some of you that have been following me for a while, please go to fashionentlaw.com. Africa Music Law actually birthed from that. And I will be returning back to blogging and sharing articles on fashionentlaw.com. So please check that out. I'll keep you all updated on this process. I'm having fun um, spearheading a fashion law course at Sacramento State University. Take care. Have a great day. And we shall speak very, very soon. Cheers.